Hi everyone, hope you're all well, and let me introduce you to an historical past Londoner, Surgeon Percival Pott, surgeon to the Hospital of St Bartholomew's from 1749 to 1787. An inspiring lecturer, Pott introduced many improvements to surgery and helped raise the standing of his profession. He was noted for his treatment of fractures, bear that in mind, which saved limbs that would normally have had to have been amputated, and was also one of the first to recognise an occupation-linked disease, which was chimney sweeps cancer. The mannequin that we see here shows him wearing his characteristic red coat. Despite this flamboyance, he also wore a sword. He was noted for his kindness to the patients. And with these two images, you're going to be coming as face to face as it is possible for us to get with an historical past Londoner. The portrait here, and as I said, bear in mind with the fractures, how he gained this knowledge, or treatment of fractures, was through self-treatment. He broke his leg, a compound fracture, and in those days, the recourse treatment for that would have been amputation. But Surgeon Pot wasn't having none of that. So with the help of a colleague, he had the wound treated and treated the fracture himself. And the leg was saved. And by that knowledge, he saved the legs of many other people. He was a bit of a pioneer of his day, was Dr. Pot. I'm all about remembering and sharing and furthering the knowledge of London and particularly historical past Londoners. And I've enjoyed the research and information I was able to glean on Surgeon Pop. And that's what the next part of our video is gonna be. I'm gonna scroll us through each page of the description. I'll stay for around 30 seconds on each page. If you wish to read that, that's your thing, please do so. Um, pause to read, or if you can read within 30 seconds, do so. If that's not your thing, then scroll towards the end part of the video where you'll rejoin me at the Church of St Mary Older Mary in London where we will pay our respects at the last resting place of Surgeon Pot. So the next part of the video is going to be the descriptive history. Hope you all find this as interesting as I did. And um, what a fascinating, interesting and pretty decent sounding man actually. Here are his life details, etc.
And now on to the Church of St Mary, Older Mary, in London, to pay our respects at the last resting place of this interesting historical London. Good morning, my friends, and we are on Queen Victoria Street, and we are at the Church of St Mary, Older Mary, which is the parish church of Surgeon Pot and his wife and family, and is his last resting place which is what we are going to go and see now. The coffee stall, which is normally here, is gone today, so hopefully it should be quieter inside. So, so this is... I have to pause you a minute. parish church and we're in the moment of the divine liturgy of the orthodox faith so I just want to give you a little snippet of that quickly. Off we go. And here we are. The last resting place of well Surgeon Pot Percival Pot is buried beneath our feet on this carpet. Surgeon at St Bartholomew's Hospital who dreamed 42 years. He departed this life December the 22nd, 1788, age 75. He was singularly eminent in his profession, to which he added many new resources and to which he illustrated with matchless writings and then it goes on to say quite a lot of nice things about Surgeon Pot here so pause to read that if you wish I like the bit at the bottom here his integrity is before his judge with how his skill might have profited mankind but could have claimed no record with him within these walls. His personal accomplishments and virtues, talents, his private virtues, his signal tenderness towards his family completed an example, amiable, useful, great. In the same place they deposited the remains of Sarah Pot, his beloved wife the partner of his virtues and his intellectual endowments. He departed this life January the 18th, 1811, aged 87. That was a good age for back then. United once by every living tie, by death once severed joined, by death again. Yet joined to live, O oh, turn the heedful eye, from death's short sway to life's eternal reign. Surgeon Pot, and just on the wall over here is scrolling a bit. There we go. Percival Pot, born January 1714 in a house on Fred Needle Street, where now stands the Bank of England, was an early pioneer of orthopaedic surgery and one of the most eminent members of his profession at St Bartholomew's Hospital, where he practiced for over 40 years. Pause to read the description if you want. It's got here, look. During his convalescence, Pop began to write his first book. A treatise on ruptures, and this was to be followed by many others. 
covering a wide range of diverse subjects. His portrait was painted by Sir Joshua Reynolds, which we will see soon, and by George Romney. He died on the 22nd of December 1788 and was buried under the chancel of this church on the 7th of January 1789. His tombstone was later moved to its present position outside the west door. The conservation of this monument <coughs> in June 1999 was made possible by the generous help of the governor of the voluntary hospital of St Bartholomew. So, zoom back out again. There we are. That's Surgeon Park. And he is buried under this carpet here somewhere. So, when that happened, uh, when the carpet was put down, his stone, among several others, was moved. This was his parish church, and you can see it is a beautiful one, so... And it may seem noisy to us today, but... But... Church, especially in Pot's day, would have been very noisy in busy places. and we are now going to have a little look there that's where his monument is on the wall over there that's Surgeon Pot and we've come this way and we are now going to go out through the south door this way please use other door I didn't come in this way? yes, it's this way, sorry so we're going out this way so we go get a look at that beautiful ceiling once more the stained glass, wait for the people to go out through the door and we shall go out too. Thank you. And my wire's caught up again. This is around the opposite side of the church, looking out onto Bow Lane. Along here runs Bow Lane. And Pot lived in this parish, so... Surgeon Pot would lived in this parish. So... It wouldn't have been very far for his funeral to go. Here we are. Percival Pot, Fellow of the Royal... Esquire. Fellow of the Royal Society. Who departed this life December the 22nd, 1788? Because it's very warm. And then you've got also Mrs. Sarah Fry, who's not mentioned on the uh, monument inside, died October the 27th, 1791, aged 11 years. Also, those of Mrs. Mary Little Litchfield, the daughter of T.R. Fry Esquire. And of C. Litchfield Esquire, who died January 22nd, 1806, aged 31 years. Mrs. Sarah Pot. Relict of the above named Percival Pot, relict his widow of, who departed this life January the 18th, 1811, aged 87 years. And then you've got also Mrs. Mary Litchfield, second daughter of Richard Litchfield Esquire. Departed this life March the 1st, 1811, aged 27. Then you've got Percival Pot Esquire. Eldest son of the above named Percival Pot, who died January the 27th, 1833, aged 83 years. That's a good age. So they were fairly well lived, Surgeon Pot, his wife, and his son there. Sarah Fry, daughter of J.R. Fry, and granddaughter of Percival Pot. 
died March the 9th, 1844, aged 69 years. Joseph Holdenpot, Master of Arts, Chancellor of, I think that, yeah, that's the Exchequer. And late Archdeacon of London, died February the 17th, 18, that's 41 or 44, aged 88 years so yeah this stone was once as we see inside the churchyard under the carpet where we stood all these stones were and when the carpet was laid down these stones were put outside so that's our surgeon Percival Pot and onto a little bit about his world and his life and his London so join me for the next part of the video Surgeon Pot was born at Old Fred Needle Street in a house that was roughly located where the Bank of England now is. And here we see a map from circa 1720, and you can see Old Fred Needle Street running from one corner up towards the top of the page, um, with the Royal Exchange there, and a very, very different world to what we see now. But this is Old Fred Needle Street as. Surgeon Pot would have recognised it and of his youth, bearing in mind that he was born in her, born there. Um, over towards the right, the little white building with a cart coming by, that's the original Bank of England. And now we get into Percival's world. This is St Bartholomew's Hospital, early 1700s, but very much as Surgeon Pot would have recognised it. And you can see the church tower of uh, St Bartholomew the Less, which I've explored a few times there. Percival was apprenticed to a surgeon, so that's where he learned his skill. And here you see a painting of kind of the era of Surgeon Pot, of a, of a surgeon, <coughs> pardon me, with his apprentice. And the apprentice would have to do things like hold the patient down and to do the running and to and fro of the surgeon and in that time learning his skill and Percival Pot was obviously trained well absolutely barbaric image to us today but this is what it was like back then you're seeing on the left an arm amputation and on the right a leg amputation and bearing in mind we are in the time before anaesthetics, antiseptics, anything like that, antibiotics so having a limb taken off was a very, very dangerous business and uh, it would generally lead to the end of your trade if you had one. And bearing in mind that Surgeon Pot broke his own leg, compound fracture, and had he recourse to the usual treatment, he would have ended up like the poor fellow on the right, having a leg taken off, but he didn't. He, uh, with the help of someone else, as we've said, healed himself and by that knowledge learned to heal other people. And this is an actual illustration image of Surgeon Pot himself. Percival Pot demonstrating to John Hunter in the year 1756, because he'd taught as well, so this was of, at the uh, Hospital of St Bartholomew, because once he became a doctor, when he was no longer an apprentice, when he became a surgeon, he would have apprentices and he would teach medical students, and he did it very well apparently. The wealthier people of London, like Surgeon Potts and the more educated, they wouldn't have drunk in the, uh, the taverns all the time. Their recourse were the coffee shops. They were the places of intellect where gentlemen would meet. Each coffee shop would be frequented by a certain trade. Um, the surgeons, and doctors and barristers and lawyers at Lloyd's. This is Lloyd's coffee shop that we're seeing here. So Surgeon Pot would have visited places like this. And bearing in mind that Lloyd's is not far away from St Bart's and their clientele was a lot of doctors and educated men. He may well and probably very likely would have drunk here and exchanged ideas and opinions and thoughts with other men. And here we're going to see an original edition of one of Dr Potts's books. And here we are, his remarks on the disease commonly called a fistula in the ano, so basically an abscess on your backside. And they were seen by Percival Pop, Fellow of the Royal Society. And here you see the uh, 
the last page or one of the pages and uh, the instrument that Surgeon Pot would have used to remove such a lovely item and I had one of those myself so I can <laughs> well sympathise and I was lucky enough to be put out of sleep so I can only imagine the agony that someone would have gone through having that done awake. Here's an interesting one I came across while I was searching out images. This is a self-portrait of the artist engraving a portrait of Percival Pot by Richard Morton Pay, 1783, now in Upton House. But there's the artist as you can see there engraving, but over towards the right you can see the image or the painting of Surgeon Pot that this artist is using to engrave the image with. I won't even begin to pronounce the word that's right at the very bottom, but these are the diseases that are called, or complaints that Dr. Paul Surgeon Pot's name's been put to. So you've got pot fracture, pot puffy tumour, pot cancer, and pot disease. And as I said before, um, Surgeon Pot was the first person to link an occupation with a disease, which was chimney sweeps cancer. And here is that famous portrait of Percival Pot by Sir Joshua Reynolds. And I hope you all enjoyed the documentary. And that concludes our life of Percival Pot, surgeon and a pretty decent man. Thanks for watching and I hope you all found it interesting.